How did it happen again? Tonight, new questions about safety at a Philadelphia prison after another inmate escapes. Thank you for joining us on NBC 10 News at 11. I'm Jacqueline London. Right now, that inmate is still on the run. A massive search for Gino Hagen Cotter took place this afternoon around the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Center where he escaped. NBC 10's Aaron Baskerville is near that prison in Holmesburg with the latest on this developing story. Aaron. Jackie, I can tell you this all went down around 1145 this morning. That's when police say 34-year-old Gino Hagenkotter climbed the fence and then took off. I can tell you that everybody we talked to out here wants to know, how did this happen? In this case, you gave a person an opportunity and he took it. The manhunt continues tonight for 34-year-old Gino Hagenkotter. Investigators say these are surveillance photos moments after he escaped a work detail at an orchard behind the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Center in Holmesburg. They say after he climbed a fence to get away, he then took off his prison jumpsuit. This person was allowed to use the bathroom. The officer, when he uh, determined that he did not return in sufficient time, it was then he went to that bathroom area and discovered that he had uh, left the uh, compound. Police hurried to block off streets this afternoon as they tried finding Hagenkotter. We're told he was locked up inside nearby Riverside Correctional Facility on State Road for retail theft and burglary. Those who work in the area don't understand how this happens. It's a prison. They shouldn't be able to escape. Um, and the fact that they are able to escape is crazy. Sky Force 10 hovered above the scene as officers looked for evidence. U.S. Marshals are now involved in the case. Emails were sent to nearby schools warning them of the situation. We caught up with one father as school let out. Most luckily, there's a lot of police presence here, which is good. Um, and there's a lot of parents picking their kids up. So I think that's that's OK. Hopefully they're right that he's not dangerous. Authorities tell NBC 10 the 34 year old was scheduled to be released to a court ordered program today. But that release was canceled once police found out about a new connection to a criminal case out of Bucks County. The Bucks County matter was retail theft. And we believe that that uh, part played a part in his decision to escape. Well, police tell us there is absolutely nothing in his criminal history that shows or proves that he would be dangerous. But they say, of course, if you see him, do not approach him and call them right away. For now, we're live in Holmesburg. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.